In the last episodes at TrailsOffRoad.com, we had days one and two on the Mojave Road. We experienced Affin Canyon, also checked out the Traveler's Mine, and a few other cool things that were along the trail. Now, sit back, stay tuned for day three on the Mojave Road. Good morning. It's uh, last day on the trail. Slept way too good. Um, these long nights in the winter. Getting to more sleep than I'm used to, which is weird. Even though we're staying up till you know, 10, 11 o'clock, it's still uh, it's a welcome change. Well, we're going to get packed up and get moving. Let's see what the host today. A quick special thanks to Rotopacks for making this possible. Um, with your kit, we're able to run eight extra gallons of fuel. And as you can tell, this Jeep is not built for overland. It's a very small tank. Um, it's made for the rocks. It's made for the harder stuff like Johnson Valley. But at the same time, you know, it's fun to bring a vehicle, you know, a capable vehicle, on, even on the easiest trails. It's just it's an enjoyable drive. It's about the experience. And if your favorite vehicle is something built for something different, you want to still bring it, enjoy it. It's, it's I, I'm telling you right now, driving without the roof, no doors. I would have done it anyway, different. Great trip so far. Well, we're gonna finish packing up camp. We'll get moving. Let's see what's ahead of us today. And whether this is real or not, this is history. Uh, there's a little marking in the rock. Uh, there's no date. Could be fake, could be real. Who knows? Kind of panning around. Some also some markings up there. Um, you know, we'll never know the, uh, we'll never know if those are real or not either, but. You can tell on this footpath, there are bands of rocks up here where they've stacked up to try to create you know, uh, walls for their uh, structures and all that stuff. So we're gonna come across a plaque here. And yeah, this is this is the site of Camp Rock Spring. Um, a very interesting read if you're in the area. I'll try to get out of the shade. Um, but you can just tell, like, look at the stretch that they, you know, here's Los Angeles and here's Prescott, Arizona. Just, this is the trail all throughout here. You know 100 miles of distance so you can tell that this loop is easily over 500 600 miles um and yeah this is all the late 1816 uh 1860s uh, after they found some gold and silver up here but this area in particular according to the sign um this was the mail service facility so this would help facilitate uh, getting goods and supplies in between uh, California and Arizona. So this is a very important area for for a lot of reasons. And the Indians uh, or Native Americans really help facilitate that and really help keep the white men alive during these harsh, harsh stretches of, of desert expanse. So super interesting. Um, well, you know, like anything we do at Trails Off-Road, it's important to stay the trail, you know, just, just, they set up a footpath here for, for hikers. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay on the trail. Don't, don't veer off too much, as interesting as it may be. And, um, you know, kind of like a walk in an expensive store. You can look, but you can't touch. So, um, yeah, enjoy the hiking trail. And if you camp around here, it's a great spot to camp. Um, you know, enjoy enjoy your time out here if you're into history so
right, we made it to the penny can tree. So, so we are gonna do our, we got our penny here. Um, there's also a really good camp spot right here. Great scenery, uh, fire pit, nice open space, super flat. So um, yeah, let's go uh, make our offering for good luck on the Mojave Trail. Paiute Gorge Trail also has an awesome camping spot right here, uh, located at the trailhead for the hiking trail. Um, so yeah, this would be an absolutely stunning place to spend the night if you're looking for a camp spot along Mojave Road. If you can handle the wind. So here we are at Fort Pyru, and this is one of the cool stops on the trail. A lot of history here. Now, the old trail used to actually be in the stream down here, and it went up the hill and went up around the canyons and uh, up to the, the Butte view that you saw earlier. The area is still has a lot of the little fort structures left. Unfortunately, most have been picked over by people. Most of them gone. Uh, 15 years ago, I came out here. Half the building still had roofs, stuff inside. Um, we'll walk around a little bit, see how it is. You know, if you come out here, help preserve the land. If you see someone going to take a rock, stop them, tell them to put it back. It doesn't take long, in 15 years, this place went from astonishing to, well, you need to experience yourself. So we made it up into the fort, and just imagine living out here this summer. You know, this fort wasn't in operation very long. I believe they just had to go the southern route from here. And, but the reason they picked this spot is because there's a spring that's right here on the side of the mountain range and that it cuts through the fort area. There's a lot of structures up here, including some down in the creek area. But if you had to really think about it, I think it would be late 1800s. And you know, out here it gets well in the high hundreds, 110, 100, maybe 20. Can you imagine this living in this desert, trying to survive? Food scarce, luckily you have some water, but boy, I mean, right now we're probably sitting in some kind of meeting room, slash maybe in someone's bedroom, and you can see the fireplace behind me. I mean, not much of these structures are left, so get out here, check it out, before you don't have opportunity to. I think we're going to push on, try to make it in the trail here in about an hour or so. So, uh, let's get moving. <laughs> And for the original Mojave Trail right now. Wow. Um.
on that line. This is entire, just you getting us. Five. Well, this has been an epic trip. Uh, I can't just imagine all the cool stuff before we can start the trip that we saw. It's gonna be stories for a long time. Really enjoyed ourselves. Any moments you like so far, John? The whole thing is definitely top three Overland adventures of my life, personally. So much to see, so much to do, so much to explore out here in the middle of nowhere with some of your best friends. This is an epic must-do Overland adventure. I highly recommend it. Well, with that said, we're going to wrap this bad boy up. So make sure you comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Please share this channel on your social media so other people see what's going on. It makes it possible for us. If you ever see us on the trail, say hi to us. Come wheel with us. We'd love to wheel with you guys. we got stickers, too. Get on the website, trailsoffroad.com. Leave a trip report of the trails you're doing. You know what? We hope to see you on the trail. So be safe. Have a good day. Later. Two, one. And no, we're. <laughs> All right. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Stay tuned. All right. Give us. Someone give us a countdown. Give us the clap. All right. What I'm the? Not giving you the clap. <laughs> oh God, yes. I'm Joshua Nesser, and this is John, <laughs> and we're out here on the Rubicon Trail. <laughs> I just got the clap from Eric. <laughs> and we're on the Mojave Trail. So we're starting the Mojave River here on the west side of the trail. Mojave River. Let's start the Mojave River. Start the Mojave Road. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have you ever met Joshua Nestor before? Yes, I have. Oh, you have. He's a Guess what? He's I have famous. him right here, Mr. Nestor oh in the flesh, goodness. Mojave Road. Who wants yeah. autographs? Who wants an autograph? And uh, <laughs> dance with the stars. My phone number is. <laughs> I heard rumors your first night was a little windy. Uh, windy enough to where the guy I was with had to sleep in the front seat of his Jeep at 1 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, it was windy. I heard well, that guy doesn't even have a roof on his Jeep. He doesn't. No, no, he, he's an absolute animal. So, um, yeah. I heard he wasn't happy the full next day. <laughs> no, he's a little grumpy, but, uh, you know, it's all right. We still love him anyway. So. Uh, Mr. Greg Martin. Did you zip tie that roof rack on there just for this trip? Yes, we did. Nice. Don't worry, I used Harbor Freight roof zip ties. Doubled them up. Totally legit. Five pound break rate. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, Kimberly Nesser. What are you driving? Jail. What year? <laughs> 2019. <laughs> I had to think about that one. <laughs> It looks like people have drive have driven up here. I don't know if Yeah, I'm probably not gonna talk during this. So when you're on the trail, make sure you stop here. Enjoy the sights. It is an awesome little place. Let people run out of the camera view very quickly. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh don't let John uh, we don't know oh Jesus, now it's really broken. But hey, you know what? On the Mojave Road, just enjoy it. I promise there's something out there for everyone. Stay tuned! Stay tuned! The penny. Awesome. Let's keep going. In California, the women wear the pants. Report this. Uh, report this now. <laughs> Help! Help! Todd, that's for you, buddy. We're closing doors. I closed my doors already. Just for you, Todd. Just for you, Todd. I take my doors off. Just for you, Todd. Just for you. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yep. Three, two, one, stay, stay tuned! tuned.